What's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood French Canadian. I hope you're all having a great day. So today I'll show you how to get the fingerprint set. You'll need to find the Lord Contenders Everjail and you'll have to fight a boss. Now this Everjail is located in the last area of the game, the mountaintops of the giants. So of course you'll need to be at least level 90 to be here. So I'm going to show you how to get there. I'm going to show you the boss fight. And I also want to talk about the set, the lore behind it and its stats. So the fingerprint set is really good because it has a total of 143 robustness. So that stat is directly linked to how quickly your blood loss bar will fill up when you get hit by enemies, as well as your frostbite buildup. So having high robustness means that it will take a lot for enemies to frostbite you and for them to apply blood loss to you. So it's going to be really good to fight against any enemies that do frost and blood loss damage, like the dragon we're going to encounter on our journey to the Everjail. So as far as the lore goes, basically this set was worn by one of the Tarnish who came the closest to becoming Elden Lord. His name is Vike and he's gonna be the guy we're going to have to beat to get this set. Not only do you get the full set from beating him, but you also get Vikes a dragon bolt incantation. So basically this guy was traveling to the capital to become Elden Lord, but he got lured to the dark side as it were by the Flame of Frenzy. So let's say you want to go for the Flame of Frenzy ending in this game, this set is actually perfect for you. It fits the lore and it'll fit your character. So you want to go to the frozen lake side of grace because the Everjail is going to be right here. On your map you'll see there's like a circle here it's going to be right here. So this is the path you would need to take anyways if you come to the mountaintops of the giants. This is the story path. So um, you can't miss this, you can't miss this area. And you want to be careful because we're going to run into a dragon boss. Now that dragon will cause a massive snowstorm to appear and you won't see anything in front of you. But essentially what you want to do is just to go straight. But if you're having trouble, just follow what I'm doing. So what I'm saying is... Come with me if you want to live. So here we are, the Lord Contenders Everjail. Now if you want to skip the boss fight so you can beat him on your own, or if you don't want to get spoiled on his moveset, then you can skip ahead, I'll put a timestamp for the video. So I haven't fought this guy yet, uh, I don't know what his moveset is like, so let's see. I'm probably over leveled anyways, so I'll try not to use Frost Stomp because I don't want to cheese this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What is he doing? Oh, that is, oh my gosh, that almost one shot me. Are you kidding, dude? Okay, so uh, don't. Yeah. No! <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore! Oh no! Okay, 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 okay. So I guess they weren't kidding when he said he was a lord contender, right? Stop that shit! How is he quicker than me with a freaking? All right, this is the one I can feel it. I do want to to, to guard counter stuff though. Oh no! I'm gonna do weird shit now. Oh. 
Why does that do so much freaking damage? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. No. Bro. Alright, I'm starting to understand this fight. Guard counter. He does a three hit combo that you need to especially avoid. And he does a lot of damage. So we're gonna use our flask of physic. Okay, 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 okay. Now he does his buff, so it's gonna hurt. Use your flask of whatever. Oh, you little. This is making me rethink not using Frost Stomp. Like, do I actually care? Do I actually care? Alright, attempt number five. I'm tired of his bullcrap, so he's gonna get the stomp. I don't care. Ow. No, you're not drinking your potion, buddy. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Let's go! Got him! Didn't use frost on damage. I'll say that's a win. After you eventually beat him, after swearing a bit, maybe needing to take a bathroom break or something, this is the set that you get for it, for all your hard work. Where is this piece? So the incantation you get would actually be really good for a faith build. It bolsters right hand armament and body with red lightning. So it gives you a red lightning buff. And I'm sure you can beat him if I can. Anyone can. I really hope this guide was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all very soon.